G'day riders. If you're all seated comfortably, we'll begin. Many of you will know the story of my journey with this Harley Davidson bevel seat. I was really happy with it when I first got it, but then some of the design features started to show their quality, or lack of in this case. The original seat that came with the street bob, just that single solo seat, was a bit like sitting on a plank for me, and I could really only ride on it for about an hour before having to stop and rest. The next seat that I got, the Badlander, that was a bit better, that was probably about a four hour seat. It was still very firm for me. At the time I got the Bevel originally, we did struggle here in New Zealand to get a lot of the premium seats down here, the Saddlemen, the Mustangs, that sort of thing. It's a little bit easier now, there's some suppliers in Australia that will send out here to New Zealand. But when I found the Bevel seat, I was really pleased. It was comfortable, well shaped, uh, it had a fairly decent passenger part that wasn't too firm and I found that I could ride for eight hours plus on this seat comfortably. Unfortunately, the button features started to come off. I think I've returned two or three of these bevel seats to the dealership and had them replaced each time because these buttons just came off. There was an issue with the way that they were threaded. So the last time I returned this seat, I was able to get a new one but hang on to the old one to maybe use for parts, to maybe uh, use the button features to replace any that fell off. My plan was though to keep the new one fresh and have it re-upholstered. So I took it to a local upholsterer whose work I really admired. just recently got the seat back and now it's time to install it. There has been some compromise with the re-upholstering of this seat. Those button features turned out to be fairly important to the shaping of the seat that my hope is now with the re-upholstering and uh, the different thread that they won't be quite as quick to fall off. Time will tell. However, overall, I'm super happy with this new custom upholstered bevel seat and it now looks and feels like a premium seat. And this seat is really one of the last major things that I wanted to do to get this bike looking how I wanted it to look. So without further ado, It's been finished beautifully, all in faux leathers, crocodile skin look down the side, diamond stitching across the seat, and this awesome cherry colored piece across the back to complement the cherry and the red of the bike. And the coolest thing for me, there's not another one like it in the world. Yeah. 